Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to create the soft glow effect in Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to also link a video to how you can do this on your phone very easily. This is a really good effect for portraits especially. I've seen a lot of people use it. Some people actually use a lens filter for this effect, but I'm going to teach you how you can do it in post. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. So right here, I got four different photos. I chose these four different ones just because they're all different colors and they all sort of look different. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how it would look in different scenarios. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is import your image. So I'm gonna start with this one because this is the ideal situation. You wanna duplicate your layer. So press Control J or you can hold Alt and drag down and it'll do the same thing. You wanna select the top layer. You wanna to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. So you wanna just turn it up around 10 to 20 you can do more if you want you just want to increase it until you can't really see the fine details of the image so right here i can still kind of see it but the more I increase it like around 10 ish to 20 ish uh, you can't really see it so i'm going to stick with 12.5 and all you have to do is change it to blend mode but you can see now it's a little bit too bright so you want to lower the opacity to like 50 and now it creates this glow effect to sort of fix this brightness issue, you can just use the curves and press in the middle and then move down. So I'm going to show you before and after. It's very subtle. I'm going to show you how it looks like if you um, do it even more, like increase the Gaussian blur strength. So I'm going to duplicate it again. We're going to go to blur, Gaussian blur. We're going to increase it like this much. And now we're going to change it to the screen. So you can see the effect is way, way, way more. So if I just group this, you can see what this effect does. It loses a lot of detail. It looks like there's haze. This is the ideal situation I would use it in. Maybe a little bit dimmer light because it is so bright outside in this photo. So it kind of affects how the effect looks like. So I'm going to try with something like this. Um, this is a little bit darker, so I won't have to turn down the opacity um, as much. So I'm going to duplicate this and let's just say we do a little bit less this time. So like. 23 and then set it to screen you can see when i zoom in this is almost perfect you can see what this does if you hide it i actually do this a lot when i shoot videos of clubs and when i shoot concerts i use this effect a lot so if you wanted to do this in a video editor you would do the same exact thing maybe you won't have a gaussian blur but there will be a blur effect most likely and you just want to change the blend mode to screen and maybe lower the opacity so I'm going to do it here as well. Control J to duplicate blur screen. So this one's a little bit brighter. So we're going to bring down a little bit and there you go. The final one, we're going to blur it, go to screen. This one actually is amplified a lot just because there's bright white lights behind because there's a light in the back. It makes it look a bit better. So you can see right here. The reason why this photo um, really looked good was because of this light. This one doesn't really have a light. The light is sort of on the edge here, which is basically the sun, but it isn't really visible. So this would be this would look better with a subtle effect instead of a stronger um, blurry effect. This one was OK, but the issue was there's actually lights on the subject, so it made it look a bit too weird. There's too much blur. But here, I think this is good. It's going to lower the opacity a bit. And so the before and after is this makes it very foggy. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Comment below which of these four photos were your favorite and which turned out the best. Make sure to subscribe. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.